welcome back to Satisfactory. So this episode is going to be an exploration episode, but in between episodes I've prepared the things that we need for that, which includes a Nobelisk detonator, which you can handily make inside of the uh, uh, equipment workshop. It requires five object scanners, five encased industrial beams and 50 cable. I've also made a... One of them is inside of my handheld detonator, so I made 80 of the Nobelisks. This requires some black powder and some steel pipes, so those are easy and nice, easy enough to make. I made some more spiked rebar, so we have a bit of ammunition. Also have some of that in the trunk of the uh, Explorer vehicle. And I did create a bunch of fabric, because I would like to get the gas mask so that we can bring that along as well. Hopefully, I don't remember what it takes. Milestone reached. Gas masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based hazardous environments. Fixit Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. That's very helpful of you, fix it. So, gas mask. Gas mask requires a hundred rubber, a hundred plastic, and a hundred fabric. Well, good thing that I brought those to the base. Uh, I need one more stack of rubber because we need rubber on the trip. But that means I need to go fetch some more biomass as well so I can make the filters. But let's make a gas mask. Now this will take the spot of your uh, Blade Runners, so take that into consideration. The gas filters require coal, rubber and fabric and I, I really need more than this amount of them. So let's take the hypertube over to the other side here. I have the uh, biomass down here. I still have enough mycelia that we should be good in terms of how much uh, fabric we can make. So uh, da, 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 da. let's jump down here. And I should put up a, an interim container in this. I, I didn't think about the fact that I was going to need biomass as well. But of course, you, you do require biomass. And it seems I'm out of biomass currently. I have 96 in here. Well, it'll have to suffice. Um, I don't really want to go tear down lots of stuff right now terms of trees and plants and whatnot. I want us to get out and explore. We have mycelia in this container so we can grab that and then we go in here and we can handcraft 19 fabric. It's not enough but it'll it'll be enough for a few filters at least. I know that there are a couple of the hard drives that we are going to get that are inside of uh, gas areas. So, put the mycelia back and then we go here and gas filter. We do require coal. We must remember to pick up some of that as well. We can make 14 of them, which is exactly what's expected based on the fact that we have 25 fabric. There we go, and we can put the uh, one fabric we have left in there. And we need to pick up more coal. What else do we need? Uh, we have black powder, we have... Yeah, I should put the coal back in there, actually. Uh... Sure, let's take that back into the inventory. I don't think we need anything else. We should be ready for our grand trip into the world. Uh, my excellent driving skills. Cannot fault them. 
let's uh, take a look at this take out one stack of that okay that has a bigger hitbox than I thought and we can put in this and off we go so let's just have a look at the map here uh, we don't need to go east we need to go south we There was a mod that I should have added, actually, uh, that adds a minimap into the game. Uh, that would have been useful right now. Uh, I'm going to pick up some uh, snack tree nuts. I don't know how many uh, of those we're going to need. I do have the uh, pale berries that I also brought in the uh, trunk of the car. But uh, having a few more of the nuts won't hurt us but the first hard drive we're going to get is inside of here i think it's on top of one of these uh, mesas and we uh, we were there in our previous exploration episode but uh, i had miscalculated which one it was and it does require motors i believe uh, here's the snack tree again Okay, car, you can do this. I know you can do this. This isn't that hard. Thank you. There's a slug. We don't need that. There, there it is. We can park the car here. The spitter over there shouldn't bother us. entirely sure which hard drive this is so I need to double check that with the map so that I know where we are uh, but we do have the foundations over there and we can just go ahead and build some regular 8x2 foundations here I think The big spitter down there might smell us, but I'm not really that concerned with him. I didn't mean to build a foundation down there. We can remove those as well. There we go. Let's go one back and build a walkway ramp. This should be the correct height. And this drop pod requires 35 motors, and that's correct with the one I thought we were at on the map. There we have one hard drive. I think we picked up everything of interest here when we were here the last time. I don't need screws, and I definitely don't need wire. Yeah, we uh, seem to be good on what we need from this location. Which means it's time to move on to the next one. Let's tear down everything and clean up after us. Here we go. And the next hard drive should be directly south of here, uh, down by the coast. What does that require? It requires 10 motors. really test driving in these uh, mushroomy weird 
things as the car won't drive through them but rather above them so this is kind of a nightmarish location to drive in I don't think I'm going to bother picking up the slugs. Uh, we have plenty of those as is currently, although we could always use more of them. The hard drive is down there. Is there an easy way to get down there? Well, certainly not from here. Maybe... That looks like some ore, which we can't use yet. Okay, so there is no easy way to get down from here. If we drive through the grass here and bounce through all of these things, maybe there is some way we can get down. This looks like a blind way as well. I don't know how to get down there, actually. I do know we do not want to drive through the lake because that will submerge the car and cause all kinds of trouble. I'll give the Explorer one thing though, it is really nice to get around with. Well, I can't really not pick that up, that is just too simple. Thank you. Ah, this looks like a way down. And there is poison down here as well. Ooh. That's very tricky. But you can just exit the car and click it with your mouse or with the E button and uh, everything's fine. Okay, now this is going to be interesting. This also strikes me as a place where there will be uh, other kinds of nasties. Let's build a foundation here. And we'll just use a regular walkway to get across the water. I don't know if there's anything that's going to try to harm us out here. Oh, well, yeah, definitely there is. Uh -huh. Hello. Yeah, you're definitely going to harm, try to harm us. And then we have these annoying things where they zap out of existence. Someone else commented in the uh, comment section on the video where I had that issue that it seems to be a persistent problem currently in the game. So it's definitely something that Copperstain needs to uh, patch out. That said, it looks properly ridiculous with the mobs just disappearing into nothingness. Ah, this is kind of like parkour. I don't even know if I'm hitting it. You're down in the water. What on earth are you doing down in the water? I didn't even think they could go into the water. Yeah, stand still. coming back down. Would you just die already? I mean, you're being annoying. No, don't go into the water as well. 
enough with one of you in the water. It should uh, eat something. I should also get medicinal inhalers because this is annoying. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I'm not too bothered with you. How much health, health does that thing have? Way too much is the answer to that question. If I can just... Because I wonder if maybe the problem is that it's actually regenerating every time it phases out of existence. Finally dead. Okay, um, I need more health. I definitely need medicinal inhalers, but I need bacon mushrooms for that because I don't have the uh, other things we need. Um, I'm going to leave the one in the water alone. It's probably stumbling around somewhere underneath us. Build a ramp here. It can happily stumble around in the water as much as it wants. There's some uh, tactical Borg cubes here. And some high-speed connectors. Uh, industrial beams. Uh, this is a nice place. Okay, and the hard drive requires motors, so let's grab those. Or put them into the thing and take the hard drive and sort our inventory and we should also put those nuts into our hand I don't particularly need those so let's just uh, leave the area with a big evil spitter down inside the water we don't really need to uh, contend with that Okay, the next hard drive requires crystal oscillators. There is one that doesn't have any requirements over to our... Uh, it should be to our west. Um, what's the altitude of that one? It is on 60 meters, whereas this one we're on minus 15, so it's up somewhere. I'm guessing it's in the, uh, in the uh, poison cloud up there. Uh, I really don't like driving in these. Here is a poison cloud, and there is definitely a crushed hard drive there. Uh, there's also a fluffy hogtail over here, so we're going to go and uh, pay him a visit very quickly and pick up this slug. Now the question is, is there inside of that area? Let's put on that. Doesn't appear to be uh, any bad things here. Radio control unit. Not enough space for battery. Okay, well, we need to go back to the car then. Uh, what can we get rid of? Can go in here. We can drop this, because we don't need that. I don't 
think we're going to need those modular frames either. Uh, we are not going to need those encased industrial beams. That looks good. What we also can do is grab out one of these and put that back inside. We can fill up the coal and go back into the poison. I want the batteries and I want the heavy modular frames. I don't want the wire. I want the snack tree and put those into my hand and open the drop pod. This one is free to open as long as you can survive. <laughs> more heavy modular frames don't mind if i do then we put on the blade runners again and let's put down a mam here and we can analyze one of the hard drives just remove it again and even if you remove all of the MAMs in the world, you will still get access to the research from them. Uh, so it's perfectly safe to, um, to remove all of them. It will continue the research until it's done, and then you can just uh, get it when you put up a MAM again. But that's a handy little tip to know. Uh, I want to get down from here. There we go. Also, you should be aware of the fact that the gas mask does not work when you are inside a vehicle. But even if you have it equipped, if you're inside a vehicle, you will not be protected by the gas mask. This place is interesting. It has uranium on both sides and yeah, it's not at all ideal. But I think we can get uh, across it by using the Nobelisks. Throw that up there. And boom. And boom. Oh, that was too close. We don't want to be too close to the gas either. I think that should get us almost past. And there's some bacon mushrooms there as well. Not close enough. There we go. Try to hit that one. Oh, that's probably not close enough. Oh, it is. Okay, let's go back to the uh, sword and we'll just drive through here quickly because radiation, not good. And we get out here. This is the place where I got um, mycelium. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, map here. Um, we took that one. There is one up behind us. I'm gonna grab the uh, nuts from this because uh, we need that. <laughs> Not sure where it is, but it should be up here somewhere. For instance, here, right in front of us. No mobs. I don't trust that. I don't need regular modular frames, I don't need wire, I don't need reinforced iron plates. We need two crystal oscillators for this one, so which one is this? It's that one. Okay, so the one we want... Ah! Jesus. That scared me. I don't like these mobs phasing out of existence. 
I hope they're gonna fix that soon because that's not ideal. Especially not for my nerves. The one we're looking for should be... Wait, if I look at the map, this one is at 90. The other one's at 39, so it's actually below us. Ah, crystal nodes. Okay. Well, there's definitely something nasty here that I can't see. This is a normal quartz node. Oh, hello there. I suspect I know exactly where that hard drive is. It's down there somewhere. And I think it's hidden underneath one of those mushroom trees. Um... Let's try to get up here. And we're going to use glass foundations. Angle them this way. Okay, that should be far enough out that we can see down there. I don't remember wrong from the last time I grabbed the hard drive that was down here. There's spiders. So it is down there. Can remove those. Okay, let's remove these three. And we can just go from here and build ramps downwards. And I'm pretty certain we will encounter spiders down here. Not that it's a major issue if we do, because I have arachnophobia on, so it's pretty easy to see them. Oh, it's a big doggy. This way. Hello. Oop. That should send it running off into the wild. They do that. It's a nice way of getting rid of them. They actually run off when they're shot at and they don't know what to do. Spitter and company down here too. I didn't mean to put it there. Okay, so you're trying to get up here. I can uh, shoot you from here, no problem. You have been deaded. Okay, so They'll probably come back, but I don't mind. Um, there's some motors down there. This one requires industrial encased industrial beams and power. Right. Uh, let's see here. We need a biomass burner. Place that there. We can jump over to it. And we can put that inside, and then I think, I think this should be enough. Yep. Like so, and we can remove it. Those are regular modular frames. I think I brought a stack of 50 motors again. Yep, 50. That looks like... Regular modular frames. Yeah, we don't need them. But that's another hard drive picked up. Then we can just dismantle all of this. A 
and that was 50. There we go. I probably should eat a couple of nuts. And then we get down to the car. Doggies are already interested in us. And now to check the map again. I would, I would like to get that crystal oscillator thing, but I don't have the oscillators. So what we want to do now is get down into the south. Uh, let's see here. We are... I need to see the, uh, the quartz nodes on the map here. Normal. We are here. Okay. It doesn't appear to be an easy way down from this area. At least not that I can see. Because the hard drive we're looking for is down here. Um... Yeah, you can see it down on that uh, pillar. I don't think that's the one, though. Because that suspiciously looks like a far more dangerous area than the one that I'm intending to go to. So I suspect that the one down there is actually uh, one of those that require uh, uh, an awful amount of resources that we don't have yet. More quartz node? How many quartz nodes are up here? Oh, where are these quartz nodes? Yeah, that means the one down there requires heat sinks. Uh, is there any way we can get down there and then get back up? This is at 90 meters. The one we're looking for is at 161. The waterfalls over there, those are a visual cue. I don't know. The way to drive through here. I'm not too familiar with this area. These trees are um, quite formidable. Imagine how much wood you would get if you could actually cut these down with a chainsaw. Ah, now I think we're at the place because I think I... S okay, hello. Dropping down from the sky, are we? I think the hard drive we're looking for is up there. Ah, there's bacon mushrooms here. I'm gonna go out and, and pick some of those. Uh, maybe not. Bye! Where did I put the car? I don't want to mess with that thing. Okay, so the hard drive is up there. What's up with all these big spitters in this area? I believe we can drive across here. Okay, so we need to get all the way up there. Um, let's use the stackable conveyor poles for that.
pro tip, uh, turn off the auto run when you're uh, doing this. Otherwise, you might have a very uh, unpleasant encounter with the ground. This is going to work, to be honest. We are at the correct height, but if I fall down, I'm dead. I don't have a parachute. I think this might be a bit too risky, to be honest. Let's go over there. Yeah, this looks fine actually. And we'll go back to this and we'll just build a foundation here. We can jump off. And remove this massive tower of conveyor poles. We need the... Um... The iron rods. And I'm pretty sure there is something nasty up there as well, so we need to be prepared for that. Those hard drives are usually not left alone by the wildlife. Which also brings me to the point of the mods that I have been looking at. There is a mod that actually makes the wildlife pacified. So for those of you who are not uh, keen on playing the game with uh, combat, you have an option to install a mod that makes the, uh, the enemies peaceful. I'm sure you can attack them on your own volition if you want to, but uh, at least you can... Uh, safely explore the world without having to deal with uh, getting attacked by them which can be occasionally annoying the hard drive is up there where's the big spitter or whatever is around I don't believe that this is a peaceful place. Oh, come on. Well, okay. I'll grab that heat sink. Surprised that there isn't anything here. This thing requires three AI limiters, which means I'm at the completely wrong location. AI limiters, what? Where am I? Can't be that far off. Oh, I, oh, gosh, I'm at the completely <laughs> wrong location. One that I'm looking for is actually uh, quite a bit to the north. Okay, well, I don't have any AI limiters and I won't have any anytime soon either, I think. I think I can produce them, because I think I researched them, but they require five copper sheets and quick wire. I don't have any copper sheets with me, so... And I'm pretty sure there's no copper sheets lying around here. Rotors. Nope. So we'll have to revisit this one later on. Actually, I'm going to leave this here.
Do I have any beacons in my inventory? No. I don't think I need this uh, stack of motors either, so we're going to put this here. There we go. And the car is there, and we need to go north. That's a bacon mushroom. I want that. Okay, so the hard drive we're looking for is actually in a very very difficult position to locate because it's going to be on top of one of these mesas here where there is a lot of uh, trees and things around. I'm not sure how we're going to locate that. And I'm pretty sure based on what I'm seeing on the map that it's actually located on top of one of these things. I can't see anything. Is this? I have never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, I'm gonna kill those uh, fluffy tailed bugs because I want to look at this thing. Just waiting with the auto side there. Hello. It's one of you down. It's two of you down. What is this? That's quite stunning. I think I want to take a screenshot of that. Is there anything else of interest here? There's some pale berries. Tunnel. This is one of the coolest Easter eggs or whatever you call this that I've seen in the game. Let's uh, upload the, uh, the save game to the uh, map so that I can see where I am. Okay, so I'm quite a ways off from where the hard drive we're looking for is. But this was a, definitely worth it as a detour. We need to go down again, and then we need to go up here. And we need to follow this track here. Just follow the wall here. I'm not sure if there is a way for us to drive there. Come on. But not from here at least. I need to go back down and drive along the uh, river down there it would seem. What's up with all these hogs? There are so many of them as well. Okay, so we're out here again, and we want to continue northwards, a little bit to the north. Okay, definitely can't be in the um, trees.
There we go. I'm surprised we haven't met any spiders yet. Let me just double check that we're on the uh, the right location. Auto save two, confirm, and upload. This is why I want the minimap because uploading to check where we are is slightly annoying. Yep, we are at the right location. Um, so what we want to do here then is place down a foundation and build our way up there. And we also want to be a little bit wary uh, of the potential of enemies, of course. Okay, so there's a fluffy tailed hog over there. Let's remove that again. And instead build it downwards. You can take that. Screws, not of interest. Okay, so this requires 50 megawatts of power. That's simple enough. We just build two biomass burners and a power pole. And we can climb up on this. Okay, so it's a big hog. It'll probably try to come after us, but I'm not really that worried about it. So this should give us 60 power. And we can open the pod. And we get the hard drive and we can sort and I can tear these things. Come on. You, you and you. Uh, we don't need the cable. Uh, what's in this chest here? Some of that. Let's remove these two ramps and boof. And you can stand there and growl all you want. Bye. And that should be it. Now let's place down a mam. Not the space elevator. Okay, so we have an alternate blueprint for a heavy flexible frame, which uses rubber. I have no idea whether that is good or not. Uh, that's a B recipe. It's a healthy alternative recipe with a relevant boost in productivity and speed, but does, re does require an oil setup. So. Don't prioritize this one highly. The signal beacon, I know that's a no right away by seeing the fact that it has a crystal oscillator. Silicone circuit board, however, I have a strong suspicion that that is a good one. Yeah. So what the um, satisfactory alternative recipe analysis says is that this is the big boy. You want this as soon as possible. The productivity boost is unreal and you get more speed as well. And the power savings are not insignificant at, let's see, at only one-fifth of the original. So copper sheets and silica, and you get five circuit boards instead of having to use copper sheets and rubber. So we skip the entire oil thing with this recipe. We can use the quartz and the uh, copper instead, which is much, 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 much better. So we'll take that. And we can remove the mam. And we are definitely at the end of this exploration episode. How many hard drives did we get? We got uh, six. That's not too bad. 
there is still a lot of stuff that I want to research uh, or uh, explore. Um, I think I will do a little drive around on my own as well. Uh, for some of the easier hard drives down in the southern forest, there are several there that I haven't picked up. So I'll go grab some of those uh, and uh, we'll do another exploration episode later on when we go, uh, when we need more hard drives. And for the uh, episode, the next episode, I will start that with uh, using the pause screen liberally uh, because I'm going to go through all of these hard drives in the base and I would rather show you what each hard drive does rather than having to read up everything like I did the last time. If you have any questions or comments, um, not that I'm sure that there would be much questions in regards to an exploration episode, but comments are very welcome, of course. Questions too, if you have any. Uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment field. Uh, and also, if you want, then please come join us in our Discord server. You'll find the link to that in the description of the video as well. But for now, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will be seeing you all in the next episode.